water this growing season, in some cases a lot less. We hear first now from KCRA 3's Janet O. It doesn't seem to want to rain anymore. This year, Matt Maring is bracing for a tough year, the toughest he's seen since 2009. The federal water districts have um, said they're only going to deliver me 25% of my water. That projection comes on the heels of the latest snowpack survey showing the water content statewide is well below average for this time of year. Less water means less farming. The Delta Mendota Canal supplies water for 200 farmers here on the west side of Stanislaus County, and that's about 45,000 acres of land, some of which may not be farmed this year. I'm probably going to have to follow a lot of my um, my open ground. Maring says he'll sacrifice his row crops and take his losses. He says at a time like this, it's more important to save water for the high dollar crop, his almonds. But even then, the water he needs won't come cheap. Buying the water in, in the federal water district is, is an auction, and it's scary sometimes how uh, high the price can get. Bill Harrison is the district manager for the Del Puerto Water District. Harrison says the lack of rain is only part of their water problem. Environmental regulations now in place to protect the Delta smelt limits the amount of water farmers can use. It's estimated that between 15 and 20 percent of our water supply was lost to smelt regulations this year. But this is a this is a very dire situation for a lot of our growers. Maring says even if farmers take a hit to their bottom line, it's the effect on the rest of the economy he's worried about. Less jobs of people that really need need to work. I mean, they, re, they live paycheck to paycheck. Meantime, there is rain in the forecast for next week, but Maring says it can't rain enough to make up for the already dry year. In Patterson, Janet O'KCRA, 3 reports. And as for what all of this will mean for